did just recently have a solar eclipse in October. We're gonna have similarities to that event. A little bit of differences, it, that was a weekend, this is a weekday. So we are preparing from a customer load standpoint a little bit differently since it'll be a Monday. From a generation standpoint, what we've learned last time, dispatchable generation tends to pick up that demand in the evenings each and every day. We're gonna shift that a little bit earlier in the day. And so we should have a quick ramp out of our, our solar production, the time of that eclipse coming through the state. That total time period, it's about three hours, we're gonna see some solar production declines. When the solar eclipse passes through, we'll see the solar generation ramp back up fairly quickly as well. We consistently work with ERCOT and communicate with them daily. They have provided some public information to stakeholders about the solar eclipse and how they're preparing for it. CPS Energy also utilizes our data, leveraging Brian Alonzo, our meteorologist, to understand what the dynamics of that day might look like. We feel we're well prepared to serve the customer's needs and we're ready for this solar eclipse. It's definitely going to be an event that you don't want to miss. So you definitely can go outside. It is safe to do so, but it's also safe to make sure that you actually have a certified pair of solar glasses that you can actually look at the solar eclipse. Now this eclipse is going to be different from what we saw in October, and it's all going to be dependent on what's going on with the moon. And we're talking about the distance. We'll start off with a partial eclipse, and that's going to be around 1214 in the afternoon. The actual totality is expected to be right around 134, and depending again on where your location is at, uh, it will range anywhere from about four minutes. Even uh, some areas, especially in northwestern parts of Bear County, may even see it for about two minutes. But if you're in the southeastern parts of Bear County, you're not gonna see it at all. You're only gonna see a partial eclipse going on. Eventually, we'll go into a partial eclipse once the totality ends, and that's expected to be right around 255.